gentlemen, today is June 13. I'm Jung Lo, the owner of a Dragon House. Right next to me, I have Ronnie Susui making a comeback or competing on our upcoming event, Dragon House 26, August 12th at the heart of San Francisco, Keys Art Pavilion. Now, uh, Ronnie, good to have you on board again. Good to be here. Um, you. Your pro career pretty much started off with the Dragon House. Yep. And right now, your record is 2-1. and one. Um, very good record, I'm trying to get to the three and one, and I just signed an opponent. You are going to fight Louis Vargas this morning. So now I'm signing you up after a couple hours apart. So uh, Ronnie, let's tell a little bit about yourself to all the MMA fight fans out there from the Bay. Man, I'm just uh, happy to be here, happy to be fighting. It's my dream, it's what I love to do. Uh, I've been fighting for about four years now, wrestling, and. Just in combative sports, and I just love it. Want to keep fighting and keep going to the next next level, and just keep building. So, let's talk a little bit about your background. What's your background in fighting? Um, my background, it, you know, what I wrestled in high school and in college, but um, also fighting has been in my family for forever. Uh, I used to watch my dad, my uncles, them do the stand up with the Muay Thai and uh, boxing. So. Um, after high school, then I started getting into that more, and I still continued with the wrestling, but also added the jiu-jitsu game aspect of it, the locks and chokes and stuff like that. So um, I'd have to say it's all coming together. You know, I, I like the styles, all three of those styles, and I'm, I'm trying to mix them and blend them all in for... What belts are you on jiu-jitsu? Uh, I'm a blue belt right now yeah, by belt. Gil Castile. And I know your parents, uh, your dad, it's, it, your dad and your uncle, they're legendary Muay Thai fighters. Oh yeah. And um, I know your 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 Joseph Sui is uh, the combat sports uh, combat fitness owner. He's one of the legend Muay oh, Thai yeah. uh, Muay Thai coaching in the Bay. I know him for a long time. So it's always honored to watching you know the anybody who's been around for so long and their next generation is taking over and then step up a different level and doing the same thing what their folks do. It's always to feel proud to have that. You know. Yeah. So um, you, you're fighting out of your, your, uh, your uncle's gym, Combat Fitness and Conquer. So now let's talk a little bit about this upcoming fight against Louis Vargas. You know, he's a, he's a Bellator vet. Um, you know, he's a definitely a gamer. And there's a really cool story about this, you guys fighting, because you guys are kind of like a teammates at one point, going to compete against a different team and doing tournaments and stuff. Let's tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we fought on... Uh the same, it was a San Jose smash, the same fight team. He was the 145 pounder and I was the 150 pounder. Um, I ended up making it to the finals of that tournament. Uh, I'm not sure what round he went to, but uh, he didn't make it to the finals, but he did good. He had a tough opponent uh, that he, he went against and um, I made it to the finals and ended up losing. That one was to go to Brazil. But the whole tournament didn't even get to go to Brazil, so it was all right. I ended up going pro right after that. and. Uh, we sparred a couple times and worked out. We know each other, so it should be an interesting fight. Really good. I'm, uh, I'm confident in all my skills and abilities to get the job done on this one. So now, if you're looking at uh, Louis Vargas, what do you have to say? If I can tell, like, okay, pinpoint one thing about him. He's not good at it, and you are definitely better. What area that will be? Uh, you know what? I actually, you know, I've seen him fight, and... Uh, I know he wrestled in high school and he, he uses wrestling and his his fighting and his jujitsu. Uh, he likes the TP choke and um, you know his striking. He likes some a little bit of boxing and a little bit of kicks. But you know I feel like I'm all around more experienced in in everything. So that's what I'm gonna try to bring to the table to get the stoppage. So you're probably kind of trying to outclass him on everywhere. Yeah, in all aspects of the game, but also, you know, I want to always go for the finish, not just to outclass somebody. I want to put the fight away, for sure. So what, like, what, in a perfect, on a perfect idea, what do you think this fight is going to be for you? For me, perfect, uh, it would be the first round stoppage. Probably on the feet. Standing it, up? I wouldn't mind either way, uh, submission, choke, uh, tap out, uh, knockout, anything. Sounds awesome. Now, if people want to get a hold of you to reach out to you, get ticket, watching your fight, how can people contact you? Yeah, they can contact me at uh, Combat Fitness. My gym's going to be selling tickets, Combat Fitness and Concord. Um, also, they can look me up, uh, Ronnie Tasui Jr. at Facebook. 
Um, or they can talk to my dad, Ryan Tatsui Sr. Um, we're all going to be selling tickets and getting ready for this fight. So just hit me up. I'm sure wherever the video, this video is shared, I'll be tagged in it. So do you, you have, uh, do you have like an Instagram as well? I do not have an Instagram. Just, just Facebook though. Just Facebook? Yeah. So just Ronnie Susuria, Susuria Jr. So anybody want to reach out to Ronnie, hit him up on Facebook, you know. So um, now on, I talk, I talk to your uncle sometimes, time to time, he's like, yeah, Ronnie, this someday we'll go down to 145, you know. So is that a possibility someday or you want to stay in 155? Um, it's a little challenging to make 155, but I feel as if uh, if I get into UFC, I feel like I would... I could, if I had some time, I could probably make that 145 cut. It would be definitely hard, but I would just have to adapt my body to that and start walking around lighter. But I, I'm pretty what do sure you walk around right now? I walk around. Uh, it just I could I could kind of control it actually. If I'm lifting weights and stuff, I could walk around at anywhere from 180 to 170. So it just depends on how I'm training and what I'm actually doing, how I'm training. So, so if I have a fight coming up, I'll walk around 170. Easier cut to 55. to 55, but if I don't have a fight coming up, I'll kind of stay a little heavier, just feeling stronger. Yeah. Well, you pretty seems pretty active. 2017, you turned pro like the end of the last year, right? Yeah. And then now this year, you already have two fights down. 2017 and we are June, so it look like you probably get like, like three or four fights this year. So, yes. um, what do you try to achieve? You know, after this fight. You, you want to keep stay busy, keep fighting to the end? Oh, yeah. Year? Yeah, I want to keep busy. I want to keep fighting. And uh, my my goal is eventually to get into the UFC and start fighting those guys and become champion. Uh, it's been it's been the goal since day one is to get in there and start battling with those guys. I feel like I have the talent and the hard work, and I just got to get just fight my way in, basically. So, well, I can do. definitely see a lot of that in you. Um, always looking for for Ronnie to come in to, to throw it down. You always bring in the, 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 the A game, you know, and excitement to the case. So, uh, well, for more MMA Five Fan, for more the info about this upcoming fight card, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. This is a pay per view event nationwide broadcast. Uh, you can purchase your pay per view uh, voucher from the DragonHouseMMA.com. So, why please subscribe our YouTube channel, giving us a little bit of love and support, and give a like on the. Uh, MMA fan page on Facebook. Uh, what do you have to say to uh, any sponsor, anybody you want to shout out to? Yeah, I got a sponsor, Top Notch Construction. Uh, Ray Clemens, he actually owns the company, and looking forward to all of them coming out to watch me. And I'm actually looking for some more sponsors. So if anybody wants to pick me up and have some exciting fights, let me know. Hit get me up a, on Facebook. Get logos on the shorts, get some logos and the shorts, shorts. Or shirt. yeah, hats or something like that, shirts. So. I'll definitely be looking and out for you, you guys. You work as a full-time job too, huh? Yeah, yeah I'm a full-time electrician. Uh, 